Hello, hello, hello. It's Dr. Naisha Cherry, your mind and body coach, yoga instructor, fitness instructor, and now author of journals. So this is the journal I, sh journal I shared with you all last time, Blossom Into Your Best Self, and that journal is to help you increase your self-love, self-care, and gratitude. But now I have an additional journal about managing your mind for entrepreneurs. So it's called Entrepreneur's Mind Management Journal. So it's a little bit different than journals that normal entrepreneurs may have. They may have, you know, those notebooks about, you know, their bottom line, the money they want, they're making, like tracking expenses kind of thing. But this is a little bit different. Um, This one is really focusing on your mindset because that's super important in your business. So, of course, I greet you first. And after that, we talk about your why. We talk about your business mission and vision and your identity statement, especially as an entrepreneur. Um, I give you some examples of thought models because that will help you when you start managing your mind. So I tell you how to do it and I give you examples and then boom, this is where we start. Your goals for your business, making smart goals. After that, every day you do your business mind management. So spend some time doing a brain dump, basically figuring out what's bothering you about your business. Um, do two thought models, one that's like happening right now that you're not necessarily feeling and then one you want to shift to. And then we have your belief journaling about your business. Because if you don't believe big for your business, it won't grow big. And I hate when people say, your little business. Oh, your little business. No, it's not a little business. And when you're doing this belief journaling, that will help you to not internalize it being a little business. Because a lot of times we are unintentionally thinking, my business is little. And it's not. It's a small business. And that's only because of the number of people involved and things like that. But it is a legitimate business. Then your business moves. What are you going to do today in your business? And then after that, you, um, you assess how your, how your day went. What went well? What didn't go well? What would you do differently in your business? And then you just do this each and every day to help build your mindset in terms of your business, your resiliency, because sometimes things go crazy. Things don't work out the way you want them to. And this journal will help you manage your mind around that and really focus on what shifts and changes you need to make in order to be successful as an entrepreneur in the way that you are defining success. That's another important key thing. So get this journal. It's very helpful. Entrepreneur's Mind Management Journal. And watch things change in your business. I can attest that that has happened to me. And so I'm sharing it so that it can happen for you. All right, y'all. That's it for today. Be blessed. Bye.